Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video I'm going to be doing this like dark maroon eye with like um, a pop of color underneath and I'm really excited. Let's go on to the video. First, I'm going to use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I just like this because it helps my eyeshadow to not crease. The first shade out of the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm going to use is Roxanne. It's right there and it's just this really pretty like reddish brown and it's a little dark for a transition color but i think we can make it work i don't know <laughs> i hope i can make it work the um it cosmetics airbrush blending brush is my all-time favorite brush like this is what like you need this blending brush in your life like this is my favorite one it is so soft it blends out everything just so perfectly like, beautiful this like this is my baby. So, we're gonna go in with rocks and just taking like a little bit. And this is a tip for starting off like your transition colors because um, whenever I do like my friend's makeup, I always put like the color a bit like higher than their crease and they've said to me like that's something they like. And I think that's something everyone likes because when you open your eye, like you can still see it if it's a little bit above your crease because obviously, when you open your eyes, the crease goes in, it disappears. So I like to angle my brush kind of like downwards and just like lay it kind of like side like there and then start blending and the shade perfectly goes like in my crease. Whenever I start off with my first shade, I add as little as possible. I do that with all my shades. I start little and build it up because it is so much more easy that doesn't make sense it's easier <laughs> to add um more shadow than to try to take away if you have too much so we're gonna start going in with this shade right here which is a really deep brown red and i'm taking it on this smaller blending brush so i'm just gonna start by putting that in the crease i'm doing kind of the same thing with keeping my brush at like a flatter angle so I can place it where I want first, then blend it out. And I'm using a very light hand. If you can see, I hold my brush at the very end and I look downwards because if you're just like, you have your mirror straight up, like if my mirror was straight right here, my eyelid is gonna be super open. But if I have my mirror a little bit down, I'm looking downwards and my eyelid is gonna be like flatter. And when I blend, it's gonna blend like seamlessly but if my eye were up it's gonna catch on that little like loose skin and you're gonna it's gonna look patchy so if your eyeshadow is looking patchy that could be the reason and you might want to try like looking down and then blending and I just go back and forth between all my blending brushes just picking up whichever one I feel like is gonna work for what I want to accomplish as a base for what I'm gonna put on the lid because I'm gonna go back in with Jax on the lid but I don't want it to be that brown. I want it to have a little bit of red to it. So I'm gonna go in with Heat from the Morphe 3502 palette. And this, it's just a dark red, a little bit of orange to it. This palette has a lot of red oranges. That's why I didn't initially go in with it because I didn't want red orange but it's this shade right there and I just like how deep of a red it is so I'm gonna take the ColourPop E9 brush and it's a really dense it's a blending brush but it's very dense and it's synthetic so it packs on color great but it's still a blending brush and I didn't want to take like a packing brush because I don't want it to be just heat so I wanted to take it and kind of like blend it out on my lid a bit start by blending it out in little like circular motions I'm gonna go back in with my favorite blending brush and just blend it out and just blend everything together so now I'm going in with a flat Morphe brush this is the NB16 and it's very dense and just I love it for packing on eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with I think it was called Jax 
Jax, the one that we put in the crease to add like a little bit of dimension. That reddish, really dark burgundy. Unpack it and then go in with my, where'd it go? My blending brush and blend it into the crease. So it looks like a smooth transition. But this is like one of those times where I want my lid to be darker. Oh, I dropped it out. Darker than my crease. Usually we want like a dark crease and then something like popping on the lid. But this is like a smoky eye. Like we want our darkest shade to be right there. And then it's gonna like really fade nicely into our crease. I'm gonna add just a little bit more down in my lash line because I feel like it didn't really get down in there. Just to like blend out the edges a bit, I'm going in with this really just ridiculously fluffy brush. This is the Beach Cosmetics. It's just one. I think it came in like a set. But I'm just like blending out the edges. Going around my edges and buffing it out, blending it out just so it created like a nice transition in Nice and blended. Everything I do is nice and blended. <laughs> and so now it is time to do the pop of like teal underneath my eye. I'm so freaking excited. I'm going to be using the Stilla Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is in just like turquoise. I'm gonna take this and put it in my waterline. I did that in my waterline and just underneath my lash line or just underneath my lashes at my lash line or whatever. I'm gonna smudge it a bit just to help my shadow stick. To take this flat definer brush from Luxie and then the shadow and I'm just gonna like dip it in there put that right where we put the blue like underneath my lashes at my lash line to blend out the blue a little bit more I'm gonna go in with it's just a, it says smudge on it. I have no idea where this brush is from. And it's just this really short, like dense, fluffy brush. The mascara I really love for when I have lashes on and just doing my bottom lashes is the Maybelline Lash Discovery. I really like this one because it has such a well, small wand. I can't even show you. And it's so good for just like at the base of your lashes so you don't get it all over your lash. Um, your fake lashes. I'm gonna use Anastasia's liquid lipstick in Milkshake and Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in Celebrity Skin. And then I'm gonna take Milkshake and put that on the center of my lip. So this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this. I think it's gonna be really cute for summer. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. This look came out super great and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be wearing it all freaking summer. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.